come from a very premier design school if you've been educated in one of the best design schools in the country in India you have you grew up with a certain notion of what design can do and you I think in India the the, the 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 thing is design is taught with often the craft sector in mind because that was kind of the the idea behind setting up the national institute of design to be a feeder to be a link between the the, the huge uh, craft sector so designers were mediators and that's a role that you're taught to be in and a lot of our projects are often uh, uh, within the rural sector we are encouraged to do those things and often many of us have the bent to do that but when i moved here i think it was a very unnatural approachment from what i used to do with the ministry of textiles or the ministry kind of projects to come here and suddenly find myself in a very different kind of design atmosphere in terms of sensibilities i think there is not much difference between what the national institute of design imparts to you and what the scandinavian design ethos is because they both are very closely linked to the bauhaus and ulm school of thought so it's all about simplicity it's about uh, honesty of material and form follows function so they have the basic the design ethos is the same so if you consider the design generation in india to be just two generations old from the setting up of nid in 1960s to the the scandinavian design tradition they their inspiration is still from germany from the bauhaus and ulm tradition but what was new for me when i moved here was the fact that i could apply my design education forget for forgetting the technical textile aspect but the the uh, the essence of the education was to work with people to design things around for people's needs which they call here as user driven innovation or user user based design or user centric design and i realized that if you can forget the, the if you can leave aside your your core speciality then suddenly design is a very broad field there's a lot you can learn and the first few years goes in just learning what this whole thing is about but there is there's a level of um, openness that you can work in and suddenly you realize that you can really make a difference to people's lives because you function not just in a core speciality but you're suddenly starting to think of design as a strategy design as a driver to 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 make changes in in companies in products in services and experiences so design is not just something that you learned back in school but design has a completely different uh, application here and you see it not just in in projects but you see it in everyday life in the way you take the train in the way you come to work in uh, the institutions here i think there's an element of design built into all of these things and then you realize that design is not a layer on top of life but it has to be the dna of life itself right i think that is for me the biggest learning here and if if i go back which i will at some point this is the biggest learning that i would want to take back to my country